Hi everyone, I'm Monique and this is your Activist Update. First thing is a message about CCWs. This applies to Orange County, San Diego, Riverside, and San Bernardino County. This is a message to anyone who is attempting to submit their initial application for a California CCW through your sheriff, and it applies to everyone attempting to renew your California CCW through your sheriff. Because of the COVID restrictions, the process of issuing CCWs has slowed down significantly. For some counties more than others, but all four are slower than they used to be. Slower than we all want them to be, and slower than the sheriff wants. Each sheriff in each of the four counties are working on doing as much as they can to catch up, and they are all dedicated to issuing the permits. But honestly, this will not be fully resolved until the COVID restrictions have been completely lifted. So for the rest of the year, we're asking for your patience and persistence. Be patient and understanding when working with the licensing folks at the sheriff's department. They aren't happy about it either, and they all want to help you, so just keep smiling and thank them for their help. Know that they want to get you your permit. We are suggesting that you email them and confirm your appointments. No matter if it's a renewal or the initial application, we recommend emailing them right now and making sure that your appointment is still standing as scheduled. Also, be overly prepared. If you need help with your application or your supporting documents, just email us for help. Make sure you are reading our weekly emails to keep up on any kind of information. So what else is going around all the other counties? Well, Orange County had their Second Amendment discussion night and the video is still up on the Orange County Gun Owners Facebook page. Their board members, Tobin, who's a lawyer, and Lucas, who's a philosophy professor, went over the five anti-gun laws being proposed in Congress right now. And you wanna hear something weird? All of them being proposed are Congress members from Texas. Thanks a lot, Texas. San Bernardino County Gunners is hosting CCW seminars. If you live in San Bernardino County, you have got to get a CCW, but it can be confusing and maybe even a little bit intimidating. So go on San Bernardino's website and check out the process for getting a California CCW. Attend one of their virtual seminars for a little extra help. Riverside County Gun Owners continues to grow. They have a brand new board member named Jojo Agaria, who was voted in just last week. Jojo is a veteran and is passionate about gun rights. We can't wait to see what Jojo brings to an already stellar board of hardworking Second Amendment supporters. Have you joined Riverside to help? If you do want to help, check out Riverside's new volunteer page. If you want to get more involved in our in Riverside County, go to riversidecountygunowners.com slash volunteer and keep an eye out for more opportunities to protect and restore all your Second Amendment rights. San Diego County gun owners put out a statement asking County Supervisor Nathan Fletcher to resign after he called everyone who signed the recall Gavin Newsom petition a neo-Nazi and white supremacist. There is substantial evidence that those who are leading this recall effort are linked and associated with neo-Nazi, with white supremacists, with right-wing militia groups, and we cannot stand for this here either. So SDCGO stepped up to defend all their members who were involved in the process of the recall and condemning Nathan Fletcher's hateful, divisive rhetoric. Check out their press release on the San Diego website. Did you see Joe's blog? Joe did another fantastic article and you can read for yourself on each PAX blog page. One of his blogs is uniquely titled, Put Your Past in Your Behind, 2020 is Finally Over. Ooh, tell me about it. Joe provides a fantastic list of resources for you, the gun owner and Second Amendment activists, to get good information from very reliable sources. In the article, Joe says, an uninformed public is an easily manipulated public. Given that, I thought I'd share five sources of information that I use regularly. There are many others and you should seek out the ones you trust and stay informed. Check out his article and be sure to read all the other articles. Some of the best Second Amendment content on the internet is happening right here and just for you. Gun Owners Radio added a cool new segment called Gun Owners Magnum. The interviews are longer, more in-depth, and a lot bigger. Magnum. Gun Owners Radio is interviewing some of the most interesting people in the Second Amendment world to find out what makes them tick. All you have to do is watch the Magnum videos and check out gunownersradio.com. 
One of our favorite episodes is the one with YouTube star Johnny B. Johnny B talks about his background and what it's like fighting for gun rights on the internet today. He's absolutely hilarious and his story is a really good one, so check it out. Lastly, if you have not signed the petition yet, go recallgavin2020.com. Here you'll find petitions you can print out and return, mm -hmm. as well as locations where you can go and sign those petitions. This is the perfect opportunity for you as a gun owner to try and end the political career of a very anti-gun politician. Don't forget to join as a member today for a little as 10 bucks a month. It is the easiest way you can help restore and protect your rights in California. Thank you for watching. I am Monique, and this was your activist update. Remember, together, we will win. Without someone doing something about it, it's not going to get any better.